Nice pass. Oh, Elijah Casperson up off the glass, no good. And tipped back in by Hudson. <laughs> a little bit of a circus shot. Yeah. But Davis has quick feet. Yeah. Great distributor, too. Krager with the ball. Back out to Davis. Yeah, he has crisp passes. Yeah. And another, another shot by Strong, but he's just a little too hard. Living up to his name, just a little bit too strong on that one. It goes long. Five strong, nine. long. Yep. King with the ball, giving it up to Cash with the cash with the stop and pop and knocking it down. Elijah has really come into his own, um, especially that last game they played over over at the Clark. They went into overtime over there. Ball quickly brought up to number 24, Faberty. Swung back out to Davis. Davis looking to drive, and he is fouled. I Casperson it looks like. Yep, fouls on Casperson. That would be his first team second. Davis is quick. It's hard to stay in front of him. Yep. So you got Claude Clay coming in for the for the Glacier Bears, and for the Chiefs. You have Isaac Henderson. <laughs> Ball tipped up and by King and knocked it out of bounds, so they'll save the Glacier Bears. Nice pass on the outside, wide open shot, no good. Rebounded in there, kicked it back out to Davis, over so swung over to 41. Coming up short was Clay. Ball quickly ran up to Isaac. Trying to push it into Hayward and knocked out of bounds, so that'll go to stay with the Chiefs. I don't know if you were able to hear that one. <laughs> uh, Hands have some length to them. Yeah. They have a long arms in the lane. Yes, they do. And well, I think that's going to be the challenge for the Chiefs. You know, they play that. They haven't played teams this long. Well, with the exception of a couple over at the Clark. K uh, high being a little bit. CJ looking to knock down a three, and he does. 14 to five to score, two minutes, 23 seconds left to go as Davis brings down the ball quickly. Not even shaken at all by any of the shots they're taking. They know they can probably score some points too. Both teams playing tournaments over the Christmas break. Davis looking to knock it down, no good. Rebounded. Hudson pushing the ball up. Nice, nice pass up there to Hayward. It's kind of volleying the ball around, getting control of it, and able to get it down to Hayward, making it 16 to five. Davis looking on the inside. And stolen by Hayward. Hayward putting it up and off the glass with two, making it 18 to five. One minute, 33 seconds left to go. Haynes is uh, just a little discombobulated right now. Yeah, we'll they, see they, they need to just settle down and play their game. Um, but the Chiefs are taking advantage of some early Haynes mistakes as well. Yeah. Keeping that, and yeah, there's another early mistake called travel call in there. Make a play, Jay, coming in there, Jay Beal. Beal buckets. Yeah, he'll knock down that three. He usually gets at least one three a game right now. Oh yeah, he's. He's got a nice shot on him. Bringing the ball up. King with the ball. Swing it over to Hudson. Hudson. And the King over to Hudson. Elijah getting a little physical down there. Pushing around. Gets caught. Haynes is getting good looks. I just don't have anything going down right now. I think Coach Fossman is just telling him to play basketball. Don't worry about the score. Yep, exactly. Yeah. You, eventually, you'd hope, if, you, if you're a Haynes fan, that some of those shots will start falling. Yeah. Of course, Chief, Chief fans aren't complaining. No. Davis looking on the inside, getting it back out to Davis, swinging the ball over, bringing it on inside to number 31, and blocked. By Hudson, Wesley Verham, 
He's a sophomore trying to go to work in there at Hudson. Hudson's got quite a few blocks now on the year. Boy, if some of these young Haynes kids keep growing, they're going to be huge here in a couple years. Yeah. Davis with the ball. Swinging the ball left. Bring it back out. out. Here comes the white left chant. Let's see how the Chiefs do with this one. Nice pass as he's falling down. Graham kicking it out to Davis. Davis swinging the ball up there. Number 10 driving it in and fouls called. Krager looking to drive it on in. On DJ. They're getting penetration. They're just one pass away from actually getting to the cup. Yep. yep. So that's DJ's first, team's fourth. Oh, nice inbound thing. Davis, oh, oh he comes up short, but he gets his own rebound. Prager with the ball. Prager, oh, he was looking to. He wasn't aware of how much time was on the clock. No. Yeah. And I heard Coach yell and shoot, but he didn't hear that, yeah. obviously. Five to, four, five to 18 to score, Chiefs up on top. So it's really kind of a neat thing to see the, the Chiefs playing. Oh, I got another voicemail. I check uh -oh. this voicemail. So. So me and Ian will take it away yeah. for a minute. <laughs> Cheerleaders out there doing their thing. Big squad this year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven suited up. Doing a stunt. Killing it. Nice job, ladies. And we got a pep band this year. Listen to those guys go. Sports don't seem right in high school without the pep band. Oh, I remember when I was in high school. I wasn't a basketball player, but you'd walk into that gym and it was electric with oh, the yeah. band going in the student section, doing their thing. I got, I get goosebumps every time. It's yep. just. Yeah, that you're right. It's part of the experience. Okay, sorry about that up in KHNS. We were not able to get some of the audio stream up there going. They're actually jumping off our audio stream and the YouTube stream when um, we have a peace stream. is Just for YouTube stream on the school website, you can click on that and it gives you a direct audio feed. DJ King with the ball, giving it up to Hudson. Hudson giving it up to Rolando. Rolando putting it up and giving it up for two. Um, I think he just got hit in a very uncomfortable place. <laughs> um, I think this has happened to him twice now. <laughs> twice now this year. But uh, he'll live. Causal number 12, David Strong, the freshman, second. Team second. Rolando put it up no good, bounces out of there. Ball brought down the inside. Holy cow. Aiden got an arm in there. Yeah. Knocked Dave, it out of bounds. David Strong trying to go in there and it kind of runs into CJ Hudson's body. CJ won the regional wrestling tournament for his weight class. And then he opted not to go to state to come stay home and play. Davis taking the shot, knocking it down. Can't give him that open of a look. No, there was nobody around. Eight to 20. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and you know, we talk about uh, the length of the Glacier Bears. That's the second three-point play in a row oh, opportunity oh, oh, for oh, Aiden. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, really good, but uh, the Chiefs are long. Yeah. Yep. Aiden and, and CJ, and DJ's a little bit long. Uh, pretty yeah. evenly matched size-wise. Yeah. Aiden knocking that down, and David Strong picking up his third foul, team's third. 7.17 to go. Puts it up, misses the rebound, quickly brought down by Krager. Krager down the left-hand side. Gives it back up to Davis. Oh, nice pass and inside. Puts it up, no good, rebounded in there by the Chiefs. Just Glacier Bears are just having a hard time getting much to fall right now. Yeah, there's, there's a... Seems to be a cap on that basket there. <laughs> there it does. Isaac Henderson with the ball, gives it up to Aiden Rolando, back over to Jay Beal, knocking it down. Two points for Jay. Make a play, Jay. 
Hayward didn't give it up. Strong throw, knocking down the three. So they're really about 50% from three so far. Yeah. They can't let them shoot those. No, and they're not going to go away either. I don't think they're intimidated. They just know that if they keep playing their game, they'll be all right. But the, the Chiefs are shooting hot too. Yep. Yeah. Isaac with the ball, give it up to Jay Beal, give it up to King. King looking to try to give it up to Hudson, but brings it back out to Jay. Timeout. Timeout. Called by coach, 30 second timeout. So quick time, quick um, shout out to Lyle Huff, who just sent me a text. Said he's sitting back, watching the game, listening to the play by play, eating his stir fry. <laughs> oh, stir fry for dinner. Uh -huh. Hope you're enjoying it, Lyle. And uh, I was just watching CJ on that offensive possession, and he's working really hard to get open down there. And, and they had a lot, uh, the Chiefs had a lot of success early getting the ball down to him, uh, or running the offense kind of through him down there. And uh, I would look to see them get back to that on this possession coming out of the timeout. Up there, KHNS Marley is the program director up there, and he, he was the one who called me called me up and let me know what's going on. He said, we got some great audio coming in through there. So glad you're listening to KHNS as well as KYMR here in Mount All right. King with the ball, swinging the ball over to Jay Beal. Jay Beal swinging the ball into the corner to Hudson. Hudson quickly way on the other side. The King, the King looking to drive, kicks it back out to Hudson. Hudson looking to drive. Just up oh, to Jay hey, Beal. Beal right ready, ready for stomach. it. Davis looking up and gives it up and has the ball knocked away and he just could not come up with it. It's King. Favorite, he was trying to, trying to get that. <laughs> King was just sitting there. They were just batting the ball around and he just couldn't control it. So ends up with a Glacier Bear ball. Great break for the Blair Bears as King steals the ball. Giving up quickly to Hayward. Hayward looking to put it up off the glass and does. <laughs> Wait, what can you do when they do stuff like that? You know? Davis with the ball. Back up to Davis. Over to Krager. Krager back up to Davis. Krager looking to take a three and long. Putting it back up, back out. And Favorty looking to do it. And is that a foul? Um, yeah, it looks like there's a foul away from the ball. CJ's flapping around, so I yeah. assume it was on Haynes. Wesley Verham called for the foul. It'll be his second, I do believe. They got it up on the board as one, so that'll be his first team fourth. Haynes showing a full court press coming out here. We'll see how this goes. King bringing the ball down. Gets it up past the timeline. Swinging the ball over to Elijah Casper. Casper coming back up to King. Over to Hayward. Hayward over to, to Rolando. Rolando. <laughs> What's his head? Shape. Looked like a bobble <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice pass on the inside. Oh, and saved over there. Elijah Casper coming up with it. Coming up short. One more and pass there. He would have had a wide open Henderson. Yep. 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 Yes, <laughs> to, to, to look what? down. <laughs> Yeah, he saw it just like we did. Yeah. Rick saw it. <laughs> Helen yeah. saw it. Leo. Oh, nice pass yeah, inside the to Isaac Henderson. 28 to 11, 429 to go. Oh, here comes Brady. Davis with the ball. Quickly swung on the outside. Davis with the ball. Hodge is checked into the ball game as well. So Krager with the ball now. Over to Hotch, over to Davis. Davis looking to drive. Nice cross inside, not able to get it. Batted around, Hotch comes up with a rebound. Play was trying to do it as Krager looked to take a three. No good, rebounded by King. King kind of smiling as he did that. You know, He knows he got a little bit of a height advantage on everybody else going through out there. <laughs> they almost, almost gave it up there. Rolando. Over to Hayward, Hayward looking to take three, long. Way off. Henderson with the rebound. Oh, people coming up and up off the glass is Rolando. Rolando said he, he wanted to come out a little bit. He thought he was a little bit tired, but that doesn't show any different. Whoa. Hager put it up, wild shot. 
Rebounded back out to Krager over to Davis. Davis looking to take a three, knocks it down. Boy, and there was nobody near him. Yeah. 14 to 30, 312 to go. Chiefs up on top. You know, he's accounted for a big part of their offense. He's standing out there behind the arc all by himself. Yeah. Uh, I look for the Chiefs to find a remedy to that. Oh my goodness. Wow. A lot of contact. Yeah. Henderson with the ball, gives it up to Casperson. Casperson looking to drive. Kicks it back out to King. King looking to put it on the inside. Out to Rolando. Rolando swinging it over to <laughs> You hear Coach say, swing it. <laughs> he wants it to come through out there. And Rolando putting it up and call for the block. <laughs> Giving the ref a five. Like, yeah. Clay called for the foul, looks like. Oh, 23 and 12 coming in there, as well as Brady Milne. So we got Kai Dixon and David Strong coming back in for there. Both freshmen for the Glacier Bears. Rolando looking, he wants, coach wanted him to swing it and he didn't do it. Yep. Hayward looking to inbound the ball. Finds Casterson up on top. Oh! Yep, and they're able to get into the backcourt because it was an inbound play. Up to Rolando. Rolando looking to drive. Behind the back to Milne. Puts it up. No good. Rebounded by King. King looking to somebody to cut and dribbles it back out. Gives it up to Rolando. Rolando looking to post. Puts it up off the glass for two. <laughs> coach wants coach wants somebody there. Are you using the second 30 second timeout? He might pull 80. Yeah, I think so. For behind the back. I know he, I know Coach Scott's not a fan of that. And whether it works or not. But he's got a coach has also got a really like the way Aiden's playing. Yeah. He's been really effective. So it's nice to see Hunter Winter out there. Yeah. He, he checked into the ball game as well as C.J. Hudson coming back in for the Chiefs. See how Hunter does. Used to work with Hunter in, in math. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, his freshman year, he actually, I had a, a signed um, an autograph by one of, the, one of the deadliest catch captains. Oh, cool. And, um, you know, Hunter had showed me that he showed a lot of improvement, so I offered it to him, gave it to him, and he looked like he wanted to hug me. And knocking down that three is favorite. But Hunter, Hunter looked like he wanted to give me a hug for giving him that, you know, one of the deadliest catch captain's autograph. And I'm told that he framed it and put it up on his boat, which is awesome. Yep, and now he's his own captain. Yep. Hudson over to Milne. Milne back out to Hudson. Hudson looking to find Hayward for three, knocking that down. <laughs> and she just can't can't do much. They don't have to do much at all. Ball quickly trying to put outside, but knocked away by there. Hudson, oh, nice steal by Davis. And the ball is quickly put out of bounds, so we'll see who that was. Kite Dixon was the one who, who caused the caused that. But now it'll be Chiefs ball out of bounds. Hudson being it over to King. King back out to Hudson. Hudson <laughs> swinging the ball over to King. King, oh my goodness. Travel? Yep. And King didn't even look back. He was like, yeah. He knows it. Oh, yeah, he knows it. That's, that's what you like to see out of your players. You like to see them just like, all right. Well, especially your captains, whistle. right? They blew the whistle. But, you know, they seen something that did. Comes Tobin Bucks and coming into the ball game. Ball quickly and stolen away by King. Hey, Georgia! Oh, trying to give up the hundred winner coming through out there. Tobin went out there. Oh, oh and long three put out there, rebounded by Buxton. 
Boy, it's almost like Haynes knows that the deficit's big right now and they're just throwing up threes to try and cut it. Ball quickly swung on the outside. Hudson with the ball. He went to Milne, Milne over to Buxton. Buxton quickly back out to Hudson. Hudson up to Hayward. 15 seconds left to go. 17.35 to go. Buxton with the ball. Giving up to Winter with an inside. Nice, put it inside and he was able to get fouled in there. Fouls on number 24, Kirby Favorite. He's a junior. That is his first team six. 8.2 seconds left to go in the first half. Hunter knocking down his first shot. And back into the ball game is Carson Krager. He's a sophomore. Look at that rowdy Metlakatla student section. Yeah. <laughs> really getting after it. Are they all on their phones up there? Yes. <laughs> I just counted and there's about 30 on the telephone. Oh, wow. 6.4 seconds to go. I guess it's not a telephone anymore. Hudson with the ball. Two seconds. Hudson looking to take a three. Puts it up and in. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Oh my goodness, 39-17 is the score. He, he, was, he didn't call bank either. <laughs> yeah. That looked so offline when it was yeah. towards the bank. I didn't think that was going in, but it did go in. Yeah. So That's nice. Yeah. We'll be back in about 10 minutes, so we'll take a break. Thank you, Rosa, KHNS and KYMR, brought to you by Ben Island School District.
45 seconds. Wow. Heard myself in harmony. <laughs> now it gets all quiet. There we go. So 17 to 39 to score. <laughs> That's startling. <laughs> Nick Buchanan making his his debut this year uh, as official. I didn't get any text messages saying that they have to keep kids off the side there. Yeah, nothing ever seems to get done. But we can try. Yeah. There goes one on the side right there. <laughs> yeah. Glacier Bears with the ball. Davis with the ball. Swing it over. 24 to take the shot. No good. Rebounded in there by the Glacier Bears by Clay. Boy, the Chiefs have allowed two offensive boards on this first okay. possession. Davis swinging the ball up. Davis the ball back. Not able to get up. Krager looking to drive. Give the Verham to the DJ right there with the ball. Too much passing in that possession. Yep. yep. Should have just gone up. Ball tipped on the outside. His pass and tried to put it out on the outside to Orlando. And subbed in there. Gave a strong back in. And Verham having to sit down. Over to Hayward. Hayward looking to knock down a three. Rebounded in there by Hudson. Hudson putting it back in for two. CJ might have gotten away with a the push there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, my he bad. Guy nearly fell over. over. Oh, and Rolando is the steal. Behind the back, puts it up, and comes up short. Rebounded by himself. Puts it back in as Rolando. Making it a 17-43. Davis bringing the ball down. Over to Krager. Krager back to Davis. Davis to Krager in the corner. Back out to Davis up top. Swinging the ball to the high post. And what? 30 second timeout. Called by Coach Fossman. So they didn't see a whole lot going on the inside as um, the Chiefs seem to be able to clog up that middle all the time if they're out there. And so um, Haynes has been kind of happy with taking those three-point shots. They haven't been knocking them all down, but you know once they start knocking those down, they'll be they'll be pretty dangerous going forward. So 6:31 to go, 7, 17 to 43. Yeah, who else? Who else is here? You seen? Carson out there, you see Danny up there. Carson, Danny, I saw somebody else. Marissa yep. was here earlier. Savannah, Tanisha. I'm guessing 90% of the crowd went to MHS at one point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the ball almost turned over. I'd, I'd say that's probably a safe guess. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they're going to school before the 60s. Right. <laughs> and there are a few. Yep, yep. Ball quickly push out. Davis up on top, almost knocked away by Hayward. Davis looking to drive, puts it up on Hudson, comes up and able to come up with the rebound is the Glacier Bears. Glacier Bears putting it on inside. Krager with the ball. Oh, Krager looking over the wide open. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And that's a strong back out to 24. Favorite. Lazy on the glass for the Chiefs. Well, <laughs> Tell you what, if Haynes had some of yeah. these shots dropped and they'd be in, in business. Yeah. They're a well coached team. Yeah. Coach they'll Fossman. hang around forever. Coach Fossman has been doing this for a number of years for Haynes and he's done a great job. I remember when he had his son on the team, it was just phenomenal. Hudson giving up to King. King putting it up and driving it on in. Yeah. A lot of contact down there that time, but no whistle. Yep. 
Ball swung on the inside to Clay. Clay up to Krager. Krager kicking the ball over the corner to number 24, Favorty, and he puts it up, no, not able to knock down that three. They're getting some open shots, they're just not able to make them drop. As Elijah Castro gives it up. Gives up to Orlando, over to Hudson, puts it up and in for a two. <laughs> 30 point lead, 17 to 47, with 4.52 to go. Davis looking to drive it in, has the ball knocked away and um, stolen back by the Glacier Bears. Davis swinging the ball over to Krager. Krager kicked the shot, no good. Rebounded by Hayward. Hayward giving up to King. They want to set up their play. Casperson over in the corner to Orlando in the Hudson out to Hayward. Over to King. King looking to take three. Knocks it down. 17 to 50. I know Wrangell had a team up there in the rally regions as well, but I don't think they were able to get to the able to get to the championship like Haynes was. It's all about matchups too. Sometimes you can have you can just have a Crazy matchup going on as King hits a steal, puts it up off the glass and in for a two. That's turnovers to easy fast break chief buckets right now. Yeah, that's tough for Haynes right now. And, you know, they want to get out of it and Cash is in falling down. Davis with the ball, looking to cross him over and draw the foul. Twenty-three coming in, Kai Dixon coming in for the for the Glacier Bears and <clears throat> Isaac Henderson coming in for the Chiefs. Ball quickly pushed up the outside. Isaac quickly stealing it and looking to go down, drives it up, puts it up off the glass, and in for two. More. 54. 54 to 17. Three minutes, 20 seconds left to go. Ball quickly up to Davis. Over to Krager. Over to Davis. Back over to Krager. Davis didn't like what he's seen, so he gives it back, resets it back on the outside. Number 24, favorite, he's looking to drive. Nowhere to go, so he blocks it out. Davis, Davis stops and pops quickly up. Rebound by Rolando. Rolando pushing the ball down the right hand side. And looking to pass, and not able to get that. Oh. Orlando put in some good, good minutes there. As Jay Beal comes in for him, for the Chiefs. Davis over to Krager. Krager looking to take three, just a little bit long. Rebounded by King. Fossman cannot be happy at the Haynes production this half. Yeah. No. I imagine Fossman will have him shooting all day tomorrow for quite a bit. Getting used to the court all over again. As King puts up the ball, rebounded by Hay Henderson. And he's knocked down. That was a nice block. Yes, it was. Yeah. Oh, quickly put Clean up. Clean swat on Isaac yep. there. Favorite, trying to put it up, but rebounded by Jay Beal, giving up to Hudson to give it over to King. Two minutes left to go in the third minute, third quarter. Like you were saying earlier, too, Ian, you know, uh, it's not like the Glacier Bears haven't gotten good looks. They've had a lot of shots, and they just haven't fallen. You know, if, if, if they increase their shooting percentage by even 10 or 15 points, this is a different ball game. Yeah, you wonder if that 320-mile distance of travel has anything to do with it. I don't know it could very where well. they uh, yeah. were this morning, but <laughs> yeah, it, they, it wasn't here. <laughs> it certainly was not here. Because I know they had to fly into Juno and then come, come down that way and then so make their way in this way as Tobin Buxton comes in from the Chiefs. And they're young. Young teams have woes. Yep. I mean, you can't expect them to go out there every night and perform like uh, varsity seniors. Right. Yeah, you know, in a couple years they could be real dangerous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Coach Fossman is a quite, a, quite a good coach and uh, they're out there and he gets a lot out of his boys as Dixon gets tied up in there. And so that'll be a jump ball in favor in the Chiefs. The Chiefs can do no wrong right now. No. No, they're just being more physical. 
And that's what I said. And it's all about matchups. And then there, you know, the Chiefs can definitely be more physical. They got some height out there. Um, there's Hudson with the ball. There's not uh, Buxton. Buxton over to Beal. Beal over to King. King looking to drive. Oh, ouch. Yep. He hit the deck hard. <laughs> the charge. Yep. King get called for the charge on that one. Great position in there by Verham. Stood and stood up there. He looked right. He was face squared right up to the right up to the ball handler, and he was able to hold his ground. How much you're out there? I don't know that that was a foul. I think they just called it out of bounds. Oh, oh really? And ball oh. quickly, wide open. He's not able to knock it down. Hit off the top of the backboard. Out. Williams coming in. He's one of the two finalists in the free throw contest over there in Clark Cochran. Chiefs getting a little sloppy here. Yep. I'm, I'm shocked they didn't call a charge on DJ down there. Yep. As Claude uh -huh. Clay comes back into the game. Looking at the clock, and it says last foul was number 23. Yep. DJ's right. number 14, yep. so I'm guessing it was just an out of bounds going the other way. Right. Davis looking to drive, kicks it on the outside. Another drive with stolen by Buxton. Buxton giving up to Hudson. Hudson dribbling the ball around, has his ball stolen, quickly giving up to Davis. Davis swinging the ball over to number 12 and fouled. David Strong. Fouls on CJ Hudson, his first team's third. 24.9 seconds left to go. Hunter Winter comes into the ball game. He's getting a little bit older. He's got a little bit of growth under his chin there. Yeah. <laughs> ball quickly given up to Dixon. Dixon looking to swing the ball over to Hotch. Hotch swinging the ball. At 12. Oh, it's a little bit long and strong. 12 seconds left to go. Henderson with the ball. Picks up his dribble, gives it up to Jay Beal. Jay Beal looking to drive, puts it in for two. And that will end the third quarter with the Craig Glacier Bears, 17 points. The Chiefs, 56 points. How many did Haynes have at the half? 15? Yeah. That was a rough quarter. Yeah. They weren't able to knock down any shots out there. They were no. taking, they had a lot of good open shots. They just weren't dropping for them. Oh, Madison Jaynes, I forgot she was, she was home too. Yeah. She's leaving tomorrow is what she was saying. Imagine a lot of the college, college students be heading, heading back pretty soon. So getting in one more game if they can, you know, watching watching the games there. Yeah, it depends. On private schools tend to go back a little earlier than the public schools. Yep. Yep, there goes little Nate. Oh, there, there. He's out. Danny's out. Carson's out. <laughs> They've seen enough. Yeah. So what school did you go to again? For college? Yep. Um, I went to a few. Yep. Oh, quickly put up in there is number 12. David Strong able to knock down some points. It's 19 to 56. I know you didn't ask, but I went to Harvard of the West. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, Boise State University. Oh, yeah. Oh, rebounded in there again. Henderson putting it up and knocking it down. Boise State, you play football there, right? Uh, oh. Never saw any action, no. <laughs> but, I, not really. Yeah. Kind of. The blue field at Boise State contributes to massive bird casualties each year. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Everybody always says that. Looks I never like saw one dead bird on that sucker. <laughs> they cleaned it up before you were there. <laughs> oh, good they knew it was going to traumatize me. David Strong at the line, taking first, missing the first of two. 
<laughs> and Craig are coming back into the ball game. <laughs> Strong coming up, missing the rebound, and Buxton with the ball. Buxton actually won the free throw contest over there at the Clark Cochran. Yeah, I saw that. And three pointer put up, no good, rebounded by the Glacier Bears. That's what you want to see. Craiger bringing the ball down, swing it over to Strong. Strong taking the shot, rebounded in there by Henderson. There's a lid on the bucket. Yeah, oh, I, I don't know what they can do. I mean, they've gotten a few shots here and there. Jay, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh my goodness. That was Fort Center top 10 right there. <laughs> it would have dropped. He's reaching way out there as Brady Milne comes back in. Say the, hey, in Jay. <laughs> Make a play. Double swoop scoop. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to knock down this three. Watch. He can, he's gonna you think they're going to get him out there? He's going to get wide open and knock down three somewhere. Bucks in with the ball. Giving it up to Jason Williams. He puts it up. Get in there. Oh. Oh. Jason can knock down a couple of threes. Yeah, he too. can shoot. Craiger bringing the ball down. Over to Davis. Davis swinging the ball over strong. Strong putting it up. And so, oh, another man. one it is in and out of the cylinder. I, I, I've never seen it happen to a team as much as it's happened to Haynes yeah. tonight. It's just been out of this world how many shots have gotten it. Haynes is not playing bad at all. It's just the, 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 foul, the ball is just not dropping. And Winter gets called for the travel. They're getting quality looks against this Chiefs zone. They're they just, really there's are. There's nothing going down. Nope. Yeah. That's got to be frustrating, not only as a player, but a coach. Yeah. It, and also probably kind of reassuring. Yes. You, you know, the, the scoreboard is not pretty right now, but you know that tomorrow is a whole new deal. If some yeah. of these shots start falling, uh, it could be a close one. So I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow's game. I think it will be closer than this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And not to say that I'm not happy that the Chiefs are winning, because I certainly am. Yeah. But uh, – Closer games are a little more fun to watch and call. Yep. Jason with the foul in there. It's his first team's fifth. And Craiger puts up the three, knocks it down. And you know he can make that shot at a, a nice clip. It just hasn't been his his. Yeah, he's, right. he's, no, he's got a, a nice shot. shot out there, and it's just not dropping for them. Another young sophomore. Yeah. Oh, oh, Davis. A little too far for Jay. Look at him hustle, man. Nice pass. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Craiger <laughs> put it up. Holy oh. cow. Craiger <laughs> able to put that back in. That was about the most <laughs> difficult two points you can get. Yeah. Oh, that ball hung on the rim. You had to will it in. That's just incredible. It's like, please go in. Please go in. <laughs> oh, it sat there for about two seconds. <laughs> Williams over to Jay Beal. Jay Beal putting up the shot. 15-footer coming up short. Baby Jay. And who's in there? Brady. David Strong coming back in for number 41, Claude Clay. <laughs> 5-12 to go. 24-58 score. Jay swinging the ball over in the corner over to Milne. Milne picking up his dribble, giving it up to Jay. Jay dribbling around. On the right wing, giving up to Winter. Winter back out to Jay. He didn't like where he had it set. He's going to try to get it again. And nice pass into Milne, and he is fouled. Good to see some of these uh, alternate reserve chief players getting some nice quality varsity time in the game. Yeah. Absolutely. Foul on number 15, Jaden Hotch. It'll be his first team's first. Brady at the line. That was a good look to get Brady a, a, a decent chance in the paint. Oh, Jay sitting down and Brenton Atakai. Brady. A little too long in Disneyland. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he was thinking about those corn dogs down there. Because <laughs> they are something oh, else. Crager in there and fouled. You ever Crager. had a Disneyland corn dog again? They're not small. Oh. <laughs> it's about the most fabulous corn dog you'll ever have in your life. I'll tell you what. Oh, boy. There's a hack recipe I found online you can kind of make them 
like any type of those fried fair type foods are just <laughs> delicious. Tough to beat. Funnel cakes, and oh, elephant ears, and oh man, onion dude. burgers. And Craiger knocks that one down. <laughs> that was on Brady, by the way. With a fresh squeezed lemonade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me some of that. Y'all making me hungry. Oh <laughs> man, I haven't had that in a long time. And in is number 24, Kirby Favorty. Oh, here comes oh, the 50 50. 50 50. I didn't buy one, so I can't win. Craiger at the line. Shooting his third of three shots, knocking that one down. 26 to 58. Get this all ready to go. Maybe Catherine won. <laughs> Williams shot no good. Rebounded in there by Winter. Puts it back up no good. Whoa. And Whoa. Foul. A little aggressive on the rebound there. Get out to 50 50 raffle tickets. Get your 50 50 raffle tickets out. Ian gonna call you gonna call a number, Ian? Call it over the radio. No. Let people know on the radio land who won. You've got such a well known voice. Hey Radio so Land, two nine seven two six seven if you're listening. <laughs> On your handheld radio or yeah, yeah. set or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. They could be listening online watching out there. <laughs> they could. <laughs> Good with the amount of people on their phones out there, it wouldn't shock me. Come running down. 426 to go. 5826. And fouls. Fouls on number 31. And so then, or number 10, excuse me. That's the Chiefs. That's Tobin his first. Buxton. Chiefs second. And Tobin. Brady giving up to Tobin. Buxton. Buxton giving up to. Brenton, Brenton looking to pass and has, almost has, had the ball poked away and coming down. Ooh, nice there. move. Beautiful. Favorty. Yeah, that yeah. was good. He started the game off with a bucket and he, he just did. could not get anything going after that. He's a good player. I, th I think, too, is he a sophomore? He looks young. Junior. 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 Yeah. Maybe he put, you know, he's got that tall frame. He has potential to fill out and really be a presence. Ball given up to Williams. Williams over to Buxton. Buxton driving on in. Putting in for two. <laughs> Definitely made his dad proud of that one. Nice drive. Yeah, I saw Eldon over there. A big old smile Ooh, on his face. Beautiful shot. Favorite age. Look at him. Oh, there you go. <laughs> 31 to 60. Three minutes, 15 seconds left to go. Milne with the, giving it out to Buxton. Buxton looking to take another shot. Oh. Long rebounded in there by Brenton. Brenton giving nice it Nice pass, players. Brenton. Yep. Over to Buxton. Buxton out to Milne. Milne over to Williams. Williams looking to drive and gives it off. I think these young reserves right now have some tunnel vision to get some buckets in front of the home crowd. <laughs> yes, they do. I can't say I blame them. You know, I you, don't either. You, gotta, you got the opportunity. Do it. Seize the moment. Yep. I'm always weary of the time I'm I'm in I'm tagged in the post on Matt Lacalle's discussion. Oh, I'm I thought he'd get another one. <laughs> he had a nice open shot, so take them while you can. Oh, no they'll, doubt. They'll start dropping. Hopefully tomorrow. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, Brenton <laughs> in the right place at the right time. Giving up to Craiger, though. Craiger is the steal. Looking to drive down and foul. Craiger has just had a tough night. He that's, has. that's a great look. He just could not get it to fall. Number 297. 267. Chiefs are up 60 to 31. Looking with for a winner out there in the crowd. Looks like it's right there, Alicia. You got somebody coming over this way. I think it's Alicia. Hey, you got a couple of people coming over this way. It's gonna be a fight. Now <laughs> she's gonna be thinking how much pressure she's gonna get to donate all the money back. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's the trick. Yeah, <laughs> that's the ploy. The seniors really want to go to Hawaii. I saw them. Please like, give it back. I'm nope. Like, I'm always like, you know what? I spent twenty dollars. Here's you keep everything but twenty dollars. I won it one time. I forget what it was, but my heating bill was higher than normal, <laughs> and they wanted it back. And I said, nope. <laughs> Paying the bills. <laughs> yeah. Not very nice, but I ended up chaperoning that year. Yeah. So uh, I paid for it. 
32 to 60 to score, two minutes, 16 seconds left to go. Prager is able to knock down the free throw. Buxton up to Milne, Milne looking to drive, gives it out to Brenton. Brenton, get in there, Brenton. Get in there, Brenton. Get in there, Down. <laughs> it was almost down inside there. Oh, oh boy. And put up inside there. And one. Yep. Oh, that. I thought that was going to fall for Brenton for I don't sure. Know oh. Bummer. <laughs> well, he's got a minute 54 to get another look. So. Do you guys remember Merrick's last game? And oh, um, yeah. he was firing up balls like no one. <laughs> he probably had 15 <laughs> shots in the last 30 seconds of that game. And if one finally fell. 35 to 50 to go, 148 to go. And Brenton <laughs> looking at that. That's probably my favorite minute of basketball I've ever watched, though. Oh, it was electric. <laughs> it really was. Actually, my favorite in the last seconds was Deshaun, who actually runs over the, runs the clock. Um, KI was over here playing, playing their JVs over here, and Metlakal was winning. Um, Coach Scott's yelling, don't shoot it, don't shoot it, and Deshaun got the ball, takes it up about three feet behind the three-point line, puts it up, and knocks down a, a buzzer beater, <laughs> three-point buzzer beater. After Coach beater. said no. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, don't uh, shoot, don't shoot. And he then shoots. he gave him a hug after. <laughs> like, yeah, he felt good about yeah. that. Bucks in with the ball, giving the ball... And Walk. Once you pick up the ball, you can't dribble again. A double dribble. Krager swinging the ball over to, and shot up. Looking to get some open shots. Oh, there you go. That's what you like to see from Strong. He's able to finally able to find the range. You know, and the. And the Glacier Bears have it whittled down to 22, but that's not indicative of uh, the dominant performance that the Chiefs put on tonight. They, yeah. <laughs> they controlled all facets of the game and uh, yeah. could, couldn't miss. But I'm looking for Haynes to shoot a higher percentage tomorrow night and make some adjustments. Here you yep. go. And uh, I, I, I expect a more, more competitive game tomorrow night. Yeah. As Krager took him to take the three, no good, rebounded in there, batted out of bounds. And, oh, foul called. <laughs> Brady Milton called for the foul. <laughs> he's looking. He looks like, shocked. Yeah. He's like, what? Bewildered. We don't call that at lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we play whatever, bump and what's the other yeah, one? Yeah. Tip. Yeah. Favorite at the line, knocks down the first one. 41.9 seconds left to go. Favorite knocking down the second one, and in the ball game is Claude Clay coming back in. And Favorite sitting back down. 40 to 63 to score. Milne bringing the ball up past the timeline. Crowd is pretty quiet, actually. Has been all night, and I, I think that's just because the Chiefs jumped out to such a big lead early. Yeah. It's, it's hard to get really riled up when your team's dominating. So if you're in Malacatla, you want to see some games tomorrow, this is the Taquan Hoopers we playing starting at 10 a.m. I'll be sleeping. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be here at 5 o'clock tomorrow night for yep. the boys. Yep. And the girls at 6.30. Yep. In theory. Three-point shot by Williams. No good. Get it, Brenton. Brenton puts it up. Oh, oh, he did. He, I saw him take that <laughs> step. I was hoping that Roy missed it. <laughs> he packed his bags and was traveling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had two tickets to paradise. Yeah, it looks there like of the Wawa with eight seconds left. Get people at least charged up a little bit. There you go. Oh. oh. Really hoping that Craiger would be able to knock that down. So final score, Glacier Bears 40, Chiefs 63. We'll be back tomorrow again. Um, Five o'clock is the start time, which means what time is that in, in Alaska? Four. Four. Four o'clock. Not for long. Yeah. Our five will be your five before 
So the January 20th. January 20th, yeah. Yeah. So next uh, week they missed it by one week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. But uh, so four o'clock your time tomorrow. The rest of Alaska. But so, <laughs> glad you're listening on KHNS up there in Haynes as well as KYMR here in Metlakala. We'll be back tomorrow to call the games. Hopefully Ian will come back. You know, it's a pleasure to have you here, Ian. Thank you for coming out. My pleasure. <laughs> And I'm David Nelson. This is Josh Gifford. <laughs>